You know, Trent, I really enjoyed what happened between us, and I'm not just saying that because you think I'm a slut. I'm not. Sleeping around isn't my thing. I never shut up. I hold my hand out to silence him. We're beyond the point where I give a crap about what he has to say. Thankfully, he doesn't challenge me. His body tenses, but he remains quiet while I continue my rant, perhaps thinking that he owes me at least this much. I like you. No. I shake my head. That's not right. I liked you. I thought you were a great guy, some hero coming to save the day. Maybe not at first, not at the hotel. But when I came in here and saw you were willing to give me a job, despite what happened between us and my lack of experience, and maybe not even then so much as when you treated me with respect and never made me feel weird about things. Even after we messed around in your office, when you treated me dismissively and I thought that was the end of everything between us, I still liked you. My eyes are watering and I don't know why. Maybe because this confession is too raw. Perhaps because I feel desperate, even though I'm not anymore. What happened between us is over. If he's going to send me packing, then I'm at least going to unload on him before I go. Hopefully it will make me feel better. Maybe I'll regret it. There's no way of knowing until I'm done and out the door and I still have a lot to say before that happens. I don't know who you are. I've never known. I'm not going to pretend like I even have a clue. You can be the nicest guy one second, and then the next... My voice trails off as I think about him telling me to take the walk of shame. I suck back the tears threatening to spill down my cheeks and lock eyes with him. I've never treated you with anything but respect. I gave you everything you wanted, more trust than I've ever given a man. I've dated guys for years that I wouldn't let tie me down the way I allowed you to. I thought things were going great between us. I know you said you don't date, but I thought that maybe there could be something. But then, when you told me to take the walk of shame... I laugh, because right now, I feel like I'm starting to go insane. The emotions are building up inside of me to the point that I'm about to snap from being overfull, and he's just staring at me blankly. Is he even listening? I can't tell, but I also suppose it doesn't matter, because I need this. I need to get this all out.